Hey loves, it's DIY Tash here again. Welcome back to my channel. It's almost Easter, I'm so excited, and I thought I would share with you guys this cute do-it-yourself spoon frame gift idea. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to do this one, or this one. Keep on watching. So first, you're going to need a whole bunch of spoons. I bought four packages of spoons, which was about 150 spoons or so. I got mine from the local dollar store, and all you're going to do is cut the ends off of all the spoons. Then take a piece of styrofoam board, again I got mine from the dollar store, it was about a dollar or so. I measured the inside to be about 10 inches. I didn't have anything to draw a perfect circle so I just tied some string to a pen and pinned it down with another pen and it worked perfectly. Then take your centerpiece, you're going to center it in the middle of your circle, whether it be a clock, a mirror, a picture that you drew, and then you're going to trace around the outside perimeter because you're going to cut that middle part out of your circle. Next, cut out your circle. I used a Zacto knife. Be careful because they do get fairly sharp and you might hurt yourself. So just make sure you take your time, cut it out. If it's not deep enough, go back in and cut it over again. You're gonna do the same with the other side until your whole circle is out of its frame. On to the inside. So just make sure that you cut out the inside of your frame and then after you cut out the inside of the frame, you wanna just test your centerpiece to see if it fits in the middle. Perfect. On to the fun part. So now you're gonna take all those 150 spoons you cut out at the beginning and start placing them around, starting at the circle of your frame and then intertwine them going through each layer row by row until you're completely finished. Once you're finished, you should have something that looks like this. Decorating time. Now for the fun part. Time to spray paint. So you're going to choose any color you'd like. I chose purple, but make sure you do lay down some newspaper or something to protect your floor just so that you're not making a mess because spray paint does get messy. Now, while your spray paint's drying, you can design the inside of your clock or mirror however you like. I blinged mine out as you can see. Then connect everything together and you should have something that looks like this. Make sure to check out last week's video where I turned an old pair of tights into a cute crop top. See you next Friday everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.